All right, hello everybody and welcome to my quarantine English course. Thank you for being with me. Um, this is a little video to show you how the class works, just what I'm expecting, how your grades are gonna be um, updated, how all of the assignments will be weighted in your grades, and uh, what you can do to get help if you're wondering about anything. Um, this is a class meant for anyone who needs uh, Read 180 normally. I found out that um, Read 180 works really well on computers, so if you're accessing this class from a computer, um, you should be able to get onto Read 180, but I know that a lot of people are accessing this from their cell phones. Um, cell phones should work with Reading Plus, so if you can't get on to Read 180 and you've got to do Reading Plus instead, that is totally fine. I've added all of you onto every single one. So you can do Reading Plus or Read 180, but you're going to choose one that actually works for you on whatever device you've, you've got. Okay. So let me go ahead and share my screen and um, show you what we're doing here. Okay. So this is my English class. Um, this stream section gives you important updates. So I've given you uh, a little read me. So in this read me, I talk about how your classwork is made up of two sections. Computer zone time is 60% of your grade. And this is because you're gonna be doing 20 minutes of computer zone uh, time a day. So I grade it for um, read 180. I grade it based on time that you've spent uh, because everyone moves at a different pace. So uh, I will grade your time. Now, it's just really important to remember, Read 180 people, you have to make sure that all your other tabs from the background or anywhere are closed. Otherwise, it will not count your time. So I don't want you to get frustrated and say, hey, I did 40 minutes this week. I know I did and it's not showing up because um, I will be able to see how many minutes you were really you know, on task for. So just make sure that when you do log into Re180, you don't have any other tabs open so that you're not working for nothing. Um, and then for Reading Plus, uh, Reading Plus um, in, does not grade based on time, but it grades based on how many sections you finish. So uh, Reading Plus, there's a certain number of sections that you have to finish each week um, and I'll get into that a little later. So computer zone, big section of your grade. Um, every week we're gonna do an article response. That's 40% of your grade. We have one article per week. Um, I will be reading it with you. I'm gonna post a video every week of me reading it through kind of like we, what we would do in class if I were doing um, any kind of like direct teaching with you. Um, so you're gonna read an article and respond to the questions that go with it. And you're gonna submit your question, your, the answers to your questions into Google Classroom. And that's how I'm gonna grade your responses. Make sure that your responses are numbered um, along with every single question. So question number one should have answer number one, and then you put your answer and then number two, and then your answer, that kind of thing. So I know exactly which ones you're answering. Uh, for our first week, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm not requiring as much the first week because, of course, it's a short week. We're starting on a Wednesday. So um, what I want you guys to do is take the placement test for uh, Read 180 or Reading Plus, whichever one um, your device will let you into. Okay, so from here on out, you're going to choose whichever one uh, you want to work on. Um, so for that, you're going to complete the initial assessment for um, – Read 180, which is called the Reading Index Test, but if you're on Reading Plus, it's called the Insight Test. Each of these tests, um, you know, you need to spend at least 25 minutes, maybe closer to 40 minutes to finish. You just need to take your time, read the best that you can, um, and answer accurately because everything that you do on that test will affect how the program des designs your curriculum. So it designs everything that you read from then on out. So if you don't take it seriously, you might get stuff that's way too easy and might be boring for you. So you wanna make sure that you take that seriously, okay? When you finish the um, reading test, whichever one you take, you're either gonna tell me 
your um, Lexile score or your reading level. Um, reading level will be given by Reading Plus and Lexile score will be given by Read 180. So just type that in there and submit and I'll know that you've completed the test. Uh, for the rest of the weeks, weeks two to nine, uh, this is assuming that we go, we're out for nine weeks. I don't know how many weeks we're out for, but um, what you've got to do every day is work on computer zone for 20 minutes and then make sure that by the end of the week, you've read the, that week's article and you've um, put your answers into Google Classroom by Friday. So that's kind of the deadline there. You want to make sure 20 minutes a day with computer zone and then make sure that article is done by Friday. Okay, so uh, to see everything organized, you gotta go over to this classroom section. Go to classroom, everything's organized very nicely there. So you'll see that I've put materials up all the way till week five, hoping that we don't go past five weeks, but we'll see. <laughs> um, hoping that we get to be back in the classroom uh, sooner than that. If, if we're not, I will post more. Um, for the coming weeks. So week one, I'm just gonna walk you through what it looks like. So this says, do this first. Um, this is a survey asking you one really simple question. What device are you using? Your smartphone or your computer or tablet? Um, you're gonna give an answer for this one and submit it. This is gonna let me know how many of you are on the computer, how many of you are on your phone. Uh, that's important. And then you're going to Go to this next section. Let's say that you're on the computer. You're like, I'm on the computer, that's what I answered. And this is the link that you will click on to get to, um, to the Read 180 login. Read 180 login needs your ID number and your network password and it will let you in. So you click on this link and it takes you to HMH Central. So I've uh, logged in as Soul. Thank you, Soul. Okay. Uh, to get to the regular program for um, computer zone, you would click on this and then it loads. Um, and then you would click on student application here and press go. And that's when it would take you to the computer zone. And this is where you would um, get rid of the rest of the tabs and be working in this. Okay. Uh, but as I've said, what you need to do for the very first week is not do this read 180 part, but to go down to reading inventory, this blue one. So you're going to click on the blue one and it's going to take you to the test. It's going to ask you, what kind of books do you like to read? Pick three. You just pick three and then you continue with the directions and then it will take you through the rest of the test. It's going to give you um, short paragraphs to read and then you're going to um, fill in the blank with a question that goes along with that paragraph. Um, just a reading test that's gonna give me your Lexile score at the end. So take it seriously and let me know uh, what Lexile score you got in the assignment. So let's say that Sol took that and at the end of her test, she got um, a, you know, a 900, she did really well. So then to type her answer, she would say, Gabby, I got a 900. Then she would have to, you have to press turn in. Otherwise I don't see it. It doesn't get submitted. So you have to press turn in. And there you go. If you need to edit your answer, if you type something wrong, you can press edit and you could say, oh, actually no, it was a 915, you know, and then you can turn it in again um, and it updates everything. So pretty awesome. So that's how you would answer that one. But uh, hey, Let's say that you're like, no, Gabby, I'm not on a computer. I'm on my phone. So then you would actually click on the on a cell phone one. Uh, and then you go to Reading Plus instead. So Reading Plus is um, really good. It's a little different. Uh, you got to go to the, this link here. And it requires a site code as well as your ID number and network password. So pretty much the same login, except for that you need to put in RP Delta HS. Then log in with your ID number, network password. Um, so this is what it looks like here uh, when you get logged into reading, reading Plus. It will actually start with this informational video about like, welcome, welcome to the to program, yada, reading yada, yada. Help you read. Uh, explain the program and it's going to take you to something called the Insight um, Assessment. 
and that's going to um, see how well you read and it's going to give you some kind of score at the end. It's usually a letter and a number. Um, so then you would, for this one, you would uh, do the same thing. You would view the question, you would type in what you got on that assessment once you're finished with it, once you take it seriously and do a good job, then you're gonna put in what your answer is, okay? So that's what I'm requiring for the first week, all right? I know it's, so basically it's that, that beginning test and getting set up. Um, there's no rule that says you can't get ahead, okay? So if you do, you know, your beginning test and you submit what your answer is and everything, um, and you're like, okay, what do I do now? Uh, you are free to go on to week two, okay? You can go on to week two. Uh, you can go on to week two and you can get started on your computer zone uh, in either program uh, because, you know, you need 20 minutes a day. So you want to make sure that you, um, you know, get your 100, 100 minutes a week. Um, and then I'm just going to show you right here because uh, we start with our articles next week, how the article will work. Um, so. If you view the question here, it says Scholastic Article Week 2, and I give you all the questions. But if you scroll down to the PDF, it gives you um, a scan of the magazine. So this first one is about uh, greenhouse gases and how cows are contributing to that. So what you would do is you would read the article. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have a video coming out of me um, reading it and kind of analyzing it, uh, kind of like I would in class with you. But to answer these questions that are right here, I want you to answer them like this. I want you to say, number one, greenhouse gases are, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then when you get to, and then, and then you go here and then number two, raising cows produces greenhouse gases by, you know, and then you would put your answer. So please number your responses uh, and give your response in a full sentence. So I'm looking for full sentences uh, answering these questions. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Is there anything else that I forgot? Yeah, um, just look out for any videos that I, I add. Um, I'm going to try to do some more videos so that this feels a little bit more like a face-to-face -face class and I do the best that I can. Um, and then uh, another thing is if you have a question about something, there's places for class comments. So for example, if you're down, if you're over here on this um, computer section and you need to make a comment because something's not working out uh, or you need to, you're reaching out for help, uh, make a class comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and then you can always reach me at the uh, Google phone number that's been provided. So um, my Google phone number, you can actually find on unused.io. So if you go to unused.io, it's Fraser's awesome website for our school. If you go to Delta HS, you'll see a list of actually really everybody's contact information. But if you scroll down almost to the bottom, you'll see that my Google um, phone number is here. So if you're getting really stumped, you don't know what to do, you can uh, text me or call me during my office hours, which are 10 to 11 a.m. and 1 to 2 p.m. and I'll be happy to help you. All right, so that's it. I hope you have a great experience with this class. Uh, say hi to my dog. Hi, Dundee. This is Dundee. He's a good boy. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you have a great, great experience with this class. Uh, and I'm here to help and I'm excited to, um, to learn with you even in quarantine. All right. So have a great first day.